kitchen. Um, who is ready to make some cheesy pasta today? I thought it was time to make some just yummy, cozy comfort food. Um, and my friend Katie, who I've been cooking with every week, wanted to make some cheesy pasta this week too. So I whipped up a little recipe, um, cacio e pepe, cheesy, fancy cheesy pasta. It's really quite simple to make. It takes a little bit of prep work, um, but it's really basic ingredients and it's pretty yummy once it's done. Um, so our ingredients that we're gonna use today is we're gonna need some salt, so that way we can salt our water to give our noodles some flavor. We're going to use some Pecorino Romano cheese, which you need to have grated. Um, you can get it and grate it yourself, but they also sell it in the store just like this, ready to go. Um, so that's what I grabbed. You also need a little bit of Parmesan cheese, which I grabbed in a block. It looks just kind of like this. And it comes in a big old triangle, and we're gonna use a cheese grater to grate it down into some fine cheese. Um, you're also gonna need some black pepper. You can have it in either like a grinder, where you turn it and grind it yourself. You can also use it in a shaker. Whatever you have on hand will work just fine. And then we're gonna need some pasta. So I've got some linguine noodles here. Um, and then you need some olive oil as well. And this is what we've got here at ABC. Um, and that's really about it. So it's pretty simple. Um, for your equipment that you're gonna want, if you need to grate your cheese, you're gonna wanna have a cheese grater handy. You're also going to want a spoon a big old bowl and some tongs. And then over here, I've got my pot. It's full of hot water that's heating up and getting ready to boil so that way we can cook our noodles. And that's about it. So it's fairly simple. Um, one other thing that I do have handy is a bowl of some cold water. We will need that for our recipe. Um, and I've got a quarter teaspoon, a regular teaspoon, and a tablespoon as well to do our measuring, okay? And then once you have all of those supplies set up, we can go ahead and get started. So step one, if you look at your recipe, is going to be to put a pot of salted water on to boil. So I've got my water on here, it's steaming, but I'm gonna crank it up to high so that way we get some boiling bubbles going. And if you guys have ever taken a cooking class with me, you'll remember that boiling starts with a B and big starts with a B, so you're looking for big bubbles to know that your water is boiling. Um, so right now we've got a little bit of steam going and we're almost at a simmer. Simmer is small bubbles because they both start with an S, so that's an easy way to remember. Um, so once we get our big rolling, rolling bubbles going, we're going to put in some of our noodles. The recipe makes enough pasta for four people, so if you are cooking this for dinner, and you've got your family around, um, that's, you can use the full amount that it tells you in the recipe. Otherwise, you can make it smaller quantity if you're just gonna eat it for yourself. Um, but you can also, if you're not gonna share it, you can save some for leftovers too. Okay guys, so you can see we've got our rolling bubbles going our big old boiling bubbles. So I'm gonna take out a little pinch of noodles and I'm going to pour some salt in the water. You probably want about a teaspoon or so to give your water a nice salty flavor. Get that stirred in and then you can drop your noodles in. The noodles are probably gonna take, I'd say about five to eight minutes you want them to be kind of soft, but you don't want them to be mushy. Um, the term people use for noodles is called al dente. So you want them to have just a little bit of chew to them and still be kind of soft. So we're gonna let these cook. And then when they're done, we're gonna use our tongs to pull it out. So while these cook in the boiling water, we're gonna get our cheese sauce ready. Okay, so now for our cheese sauce, we're gonna run down our list of ingredients. We're going to, if you're doing a full portion, you're gonna do 
one and a half cups of finely grated Romano cheese, so which is this one. I'm just doing a single serving, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure out about two tablespoons. One, two. And then you're going to use some Parmesan cheese, which I have not grated yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my grater right over the bowl, and then I'm going to go ahead and grate all of this cheese. I'm going to use the small setting because you want it to be just like a fine little dust. That way it melts evenly and coats our pasta really nicely. Okay, tap that out. I'm going to use my knife to kind of scrape down the inside to make sure we get it all. Right, and then we're also going to use some black pepper. I'm not gonna use a full tablespoon just because I'm making a small amount. Um, so I'm gonna do about six little twists. Four, five, six. And then you can always put more pepper on top once um, you're ready to eat. So now that we've got all of our cheese in the bowl, we're going to use a spoon and a tea, quarter teaspoon. So we're gonna take this bowl of cold water that I had to sit aside, and we're gonna scoop about a quarter teaspoon, and we're gonna pour and drip that water over the cheese. Say, so let's do that about three times and see how this is looking. We're gonna start to mash this down into a paste that's going to coat the bottom of our bowl. So this is still looking pretty crumbly. So we'll just put about two more. One, two. Okay. There we go. So now our cheese is starting to kind of stick together. And see, it's actually sticking to the spoon. So it's getting nice and paste-like. So we're going to spread this out across the bottom of the bowl. Okay guys, so we've got our cheese in the bottom of the bowl in a nice paste um, and our pasta should be just about ready. So now we're going to take our tongs and we're going to pull the pasta. Bring your bowl close, that way it doesn't go everywhere. You're going to take your pasta out of the water and let it drip slightly. And then you're going to transfer it into your bowl of cheese right on top. We want to save some of our pasta water because we're going to help, we're going to use that as part of our sauce. Okay, so we've got all of our noodles in the bowl here. Get our space cleaned up so it's easy to work. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to use our tongs and we're going to toss and spin the pasta in the cheese that is in the bottom of the bowl. So the hot noodles are gonna start to pick up all of that cheese that's down there, and it's gonna start to melt it. But you'll notice the cheese is staying kind of clumpy, which we don't want, we want it to get creamy. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our teaspoon, and we're gonna measure a teaspoon of olive oil, and we're gonna pour that over the noodles. So measure really slowly, right to the top, and then drizzle it on there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our tablespoon and we're going to be very careful and we're going to dip it into the hot water and we're going to put, I'd say one, let's do two tablespoons of the hot pasta water. The pasta water is really cool because it has lots of starch from the noodles cooking in it so it's going to make your sauce nice and thick and creamy. So you're going to keep tossing this all around and your cheese is going to melt and it's going to coat all of your noodles with that yummy 
peppery, cheesy sauce. Okay, that looks like it's pretty much good to go. So now we're going to get it plated up and I'm gonna show you how to finish it off. Okay guys, so now we've got our pasta that's ready to go. So we're gonna take our tongs and we're gonna pinch our noodles and kind of twist to pick them up. And we're gonna bring our plate over and we're gonna pick up those noodles and we're gonna put them just right in the middle of the plate. That does not look that pretty. But it looks pretty yummy. of some shredded cheese and we're just going to sprinkle that right all over the top and then we can finish it with a little bit more pepper just like that and it's ready to go so you've got enough now that you could either share it with your family or just have it for lunch for yourself either way it's going to be really yummy and it's just a few simple ingredients so I hope you enjoy this cheesy, yummy pasta, and I'll see you guys again next week for some more yummy food. Have a good afternoon.